everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another quick vegan food haul and I just got back from the shops and I've got frozen stuff so I'm going to try and speed through this video um, so that I can put it all back in the fridge and in the cupboards. So first of all I went to Tesco's, this is the bag, um, I got some frozen raspberries for £2, frozen mango chunks for £2 again, I got some Two papayas, I think, for £2.50. And I got some Tesco organic medjool dates, which I think were on sale um, for probably, was it £1.99 or something? Or two something, £2.30? I can't, I can't remember. Um, I can't find the receipt, so I'm really sorry about that. And then I went to Health Zone. And I got quite a lot there, and I'm really excited about these things. So, um, first of all, I'll start with the things I'm most excited about. So, I got these free from Lazy Day Foods Tiffin made with Belgian chocolate, free from gluten, wheat, wheat, dairy, egg, and hydrogenate, hydrogenated fats. So, it's vegan, gluten free, wheat free, and dairy free. And they are, they look amazing um they are chocolate tiffins so if you don't know what tiffin is i think it's like a well the dairy version was like a bit of caramel i think and like a bit of um shortbread pieces and just chocolate on top so it's just like layered whereas this is a vegan version so um i'm very excited to try these when i'm feeling a bit naughty on a day that i am you know i need to like detox after i eat them because i mean you know you can't eat too many processed foods on a vegan diet, just, um, oh, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? You need to detox that shit because that's just too many calories and too much sugar and too much fat. So anyway, um, the next thing I got were cookie shots, bite-sized brownie biscuits, and here it does say, all of these green things say gluten-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, and they are vegan, so that's perfect. And I think I'm a celiac at the moment. I got some blood tests and did some samples and sent them to the doctor. And I'm pretty sure I have, I'm intolerant to gluten. So looks like these will be perfect for me to eat. And they are really, really, really yummy. I've already opened them, as you can see. And these, oh, I haven't said the date, the price. I think these were about 2 99 which is amazing. I think you get one, one, two, three, four, five, six tiffins and in here you get just a bag of these mini these are like this size I think I'll just show you one they're like that and they're really yummy and you get probably about 20 or 30 in there so that's nice I like those and then I got some more medjool dates I know it's a bit silly because I got the ones in Tesco but I wanted to see which ones I like the best I think these are about four pounds which is really overpriced but um, I have had these before and um, this is a long time ago and I really want to try them again. And they are the Zayton from Palestine, um, Jericho's finest medjool dates, the king, the king of dates with a succulent caramel taste, which they do. And they are beautiful packaging and you do get quite a few in here um, for £4. So um, I got these medjool dates and obviously the Tesco medjool dates, but in price comparison, these are much cheaper, but you do get less in here. And then I got some apple cider vinegar. Um, you've probably all heard some amazing things about apple cider vinegar. There's really weird bits in it. Can you see that? Please let me know if that's normal. <laughs> um, I've never tried it, but I've heard amazing things about apple cider vinegar, so I bought it. And from the same brand, I got some liquid aminos. It's the spray bottle. Oh, sorry, this was about two pounds, I think three pounds um and this was about two pounds something and it's liquid aminos um just for seasoning and yeah it's a spray one i think i just said that but yeah i've had this before so yeah and i also got oh a trek bar these are my favorite ones the coconut um Coco coconut flapjack ones, which are really nice. I just had that on the way home. I also got some almond butter, just smooth almond butter, the Meridian brand, which I think you all know how much this is. It depends on where you get it, but it is quite overpriced in this shop. I got some Bionair brown rice syrup, which is my favourite sweetener, apart from maple syrup, of course, but it's much cheaper than maple syrup, so I love this syrup for sweetening things. I got some organic tofu. 
and this is just the clear spring brand and I got some quinoa chips these are the sour cream and chives flavour um, I went to a vegan meetup last Saturday and it was the Brianna Jackfruitson and Nikocado Avocado meetup and it was an amazing day. I've met so many new people and amazing vegans and I just loved it. And when I was there I had some quinoa, um, sour cream and chives chips, crisps and they literally taste amazing. You would never say these were vegan so these were incredible and I bought some for myself and I think these were like one pound something maybe yeah one pound fifty i don't know it's a big bag and you do you do get quite a lot in there and last but not least is my ultimate ultimate favorite which is the booja booja hunky punky chocolate dairy free vegan ice cream and uh, if you haven't tried this you have to try it it's my ultimate favorite vegan ice cream and it's got only four ingredients so water agave syrup cashew nuts and cacao that's it and it does not taste like it's just got four ingredients so don't know how they do it it's amazing fully vegan if you're feeling like you really want a treat get this but it's six pounds in the uk this is very expensive and i'm pretty sure it's gone up in price because i did not pay six pounds last time i got it unless it was on sale but i'm pretty sure it was not six pounds so yeah I don't know but I need to end the video because I need to put these things back in the freezer and um, yeah hope you enjoy the video and see you soon bye